the prayer is not blocked or hindered. Welcome to our new edition of Viral. I'm your host as always, Ken Jiggs here. Glad you can join us here on Viral as we talk about J.R. Smith's drama with his love, marriage, and basketball. Well, first things first, join in the conversation using the hashtag Viral here on Connect as we talk about J.R. Smith's recent marital woes with his wife praying on social media about her marriage to J.R. Smith as he steps out and goes with a actress from the CW show. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Now, many of you know, let's, let's go way back when. In 2006, NBA player J.R. Smith was making waves as a basketball player and played for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He was on top of the world. He helped LeBron James win the NBA championship in that year. And he also got married, as you see right here. Yeah, uninterrupted. What's good? Sitting here, walking through. Is it Shore Hills, babe? Yeah, Shore Hills. Hills Mall with my wife. My Hi. new wife, we got married yesterday. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So many people, so yes. many uh, friends and family that we couldn't do it without you guys, so we appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah. Teammates, all, all, all my teammates and everybody who came through, appreciate you guys, love y'all. Uh, organization, yes. agents, uh, Clutch, uh, everybody who came through, we love y'all, we, we love appreciate y'all. Have an amazing time. Thank you so much. God bless, thank you. Two rings in one year, summer 16, playing <laughs> dirty. <laughs> All right, you see right there, J.R. Smith, a day after his marriage to his wife, Angel. Now, that was during happier times. And now, fast forward, not three years later, as J.R. Smith have turned things worse, as Angel appeared on social media and confessed her marital problems to the Lord about her husband and his side chick. Won't believe what went down. Take a look. You know, God is mad wild. Um, there's a lot going on. Clearly, y'all know that because y'all been sending it to me, DMing it to me, this saying this. But anyway, um, in my quiet time with my father, I'm like, God, like all of this is going on. What you, you know? And it's a battle, and it's a hurdle. Jump over, whatever, whatever. Out there in the public, all that good stuff. But God, you know, I asked my father, I'm like, God, how do I, you know, how do I respond? Do I respond? Et cetera, et cetera. And he basically was just like, yeah, you just, just pray. And I'm like, okay, oh, God, we good. Like, I got that. Like, father, that's what we do. And my, you know, my quiet time, in my little room, you know what I mean? Like, church, all that stuff, you know, and my little quiet space, whatever, whatever. He like, nah, you're going to pray and you're going to put it out there and you're going to let that be that. Because you're going to shut the gang cells. You're going to shut their mouth. Help me, God. So as I was taking Demi to school, um, God was like, yeah, you're going to pray and you're going to post it. I said, uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not like, do everybody want to post anything or you're going you gonna to post this good prayer. But listen, I'm at this point in my life right now, baby, if God say this, jump, leap, back, what, what you, did I hear you right? You said, oh God, we out here. What we doing? What you need me to do? Because he has been too good to me, too good to me in spite of, <clears throat> and it hurt, it's unfortunate, but guess what? It is what it is. So I'm going to say the good prayer and I'm going to leave it where it's at. I'm going to let it fall how it's going to fall and keep it moving. That's it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God, please use me. Have your way with my habit. <clears throat> my God, my God.
God, I am humbly coming to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Asking first and foremost that you please forgive me for my sins, Lord. I ask, Father God, that you decrease my flesh and you increase my spirit so this prayer is not blocked or hindered. God, you know my heart. You know my soul. You knew me before I even was born. You knew I was going to be at this very exact moment at this time. God, I would like to lift my husband up and ask you, Lord, Father God, to please just cover him with your blood, Lord, Father God. Camp your angels around him, Lord, Father God. I ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you go to him where he is right now and you shake him up, God. You shake him up and you stir him up, Lord Father God. And you give him the strength that he needs to carry on to get through to another day, Father God. I ask that wherever he is broken, God, that you fix him, that you heal him, Lord. Because only you can do it. God, I am asking you, Lord Father God, as your servant. To please help and heal my husband, Lord Father God. And please forgive him for he know not what he do. I ask grace, Lord Father God. And mercy over his life, Lord Father God. Lord Father God, I dispatch my angels to him right now. Wherever he is, Lord Father God. To give him the strength and the courage to know that he is good enough to get to, through to another day. Father God, whatever hurt and pain that he has experienced in his past, Lord Father God, please let him know that that does not define his future. I ask, Lord Father God, that you give him favor in the midst of great impossibilities, Lord Father God. I ask that your will be done in his life, Lord Father God. So he can stand up, Lord Father God. You can build him up to be the man that he needs to be, Lord Father God. And the father that he needs to be to his children, Lord Father God. I ask, Lord Father God, that you just surround us with your love, Lord Father God. And just just, just quiet all of this madness that's going on, Lord Father God. I ask you to protect my children in the midst of all of this foolishness, Lord Father God. I ask you, God, to please just... Hold Demi, Lord Father God, and just hold her heart right now, Lord Father God, as you just protect my daughter. In the midst of all of this foolishness, God, just please protect her, Lord Father God. Please keep us, Lord Father God. We are all hurting. Everybody is hurting. Not just me, but my husband. He's hurting. And Candace, Lord Father God, she's hurting. I pray, Lord Father God, for Candace that you please just mend her heart, Lord Father God. For her to go out here, Lord Father God, and seek a married man. Father God, I just pray that you, you give her grace and mercy, Lord Father God, through all of this, Lord Father God. I lift her up, Lord Father God, wherever she is broken, to heal her broken heart, Lord Father God. And let her know, at the end of the day, it is you that, get, that can fill all voids, Lord Father God. You are the only one that can fill any and all voids in our lives, Lord Father God. So I ask, Lord Father God, that you just pour your love out to your children, Lord Father God, because they don't know they're hurting God. They're hurting. They're hurting God. I ask you to cover them, Lord Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help your children. We're all suffering, Lord Father God. I ask you to forgive us for our sins, Lord Father God. Father God, you said you would never leave nor forsake me. You would never leave or forsake me, Lord Father God. So please don't do that right now, Lord Father God. I know you won't, and it's all for your greater good, Lord Father God. So I'm trusting you. But in the midst, Lord Father God, please see my sacrifice and my obedience to your will. And I pray for your children in spite of how they have come against me, Lord. I pray for your son. 
Father God, I pray for JR and I pray for Candace in the mighty name of Jesus. Please forgive them, Lord. Please forgive them, Lord, because they do not know the path of destruction that is before them, Lord, Father God, for coming against your daughter. God, heal them. God, heal me. Help me, Lord. Help them in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon, God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. God, I ask you to hear my heart, to look at my heart. My God, my God, you know I mean well in all things. I'm not perfect, but that's why you love me. Please allow this prayer to go forth, Father God, because you know it's intent for it to not be hindered, Lord Father God. Cover us all in this world. We all need help. We are all sinners. Lift us up. Help us and heal us. To continue to move on to another day. And God, I thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing me to wake up to care for my daughters. My God, my God, I thank you for giving me strength to go through where all of this is meant to break me down, you give me strength to go through, God, and I thank you. Oh, God, I thank you. Your will be done. Have your way, my God. Please keep my heart pure. I pray for my enemies, my God, my God, anybody that has come against my marriage and tried to attack my marriage and put their hand on my marriage, anybody that has never met me well or my marriage well, Lord Father God, you already got a hand, dude, I know. So I thank you for all things in advance. My praise, my worship, my life belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, as you see right there, Angel um, poured her heart and her soul to forgive her husband, J.R. Smith, and his side chick, Candace Pam, from the CW show. Many critics felt that she was going along with J.R.'s cheating ways, and why would she not even confront him or try to get to the root of the issue or the bottom of it? Here's what the people had, here's what the people had to say about this whole ordeal. Take a look. Storm show. Hey, it's Storm show. J.R. Smith. Now, like I said, this week was the week for black men to be out here tripping and showing their ass. Shout out to ASAP Rocket. We're going to talk about you later in the damn show. So, J.R. Smith was cheating on his wife. We have seen the videos on Instagram, Neighborhood Talk, Shade Room, Jasper Brand, all the motherfucking places where she was sitting in the car and having that. Lord Jesus, pray for him in this hole. Lord Jesus, pray for her motherfucking place. Ma'am, madam. I'm disappointed in you, ma'am, because when you was praying, I needed more forcefulness behind your prayer. When you was praying, you were supposed to be saying, God, please keep me from laying hands upon thy face. God, please keep me from having a whole Angela Bassett moment. God, please keep me from Lisa left out Lopez in this motherfucker's house. That's what you were supposed to say in your prayer. Not sitting there, <laughs> fuck your tears, girl. Go cry later. This ain't the time to cry. This is the time for revenge. Especially if you're going to take that shit. Now, if you was going to sit there and cry, you could have kept that shit off camera. I don't want no more tears in 2020. Save your tears. Sayor Smith is a basketball player. He claimed he won cheating on his wife because he has been separated from her for six months. Apparently, she didn't get the notice that they were separated. We were on a break. She didn't know, but he certainly moved on pretty quick with a new woman. And I'm just going to say this. <sighs> People, close one chapter before you open another. 
That's what that will solve all these problems. Before you start dating again, just make sure you divorce. Is it that damn hard? That space of time, you know, that time in between you filing for divorce and you actually getting divorced. That's God giving you time to get yourself together, your spur together, and giving your dick a break before you go put it in somebody else. Just like women gotta take pussy breaks, men gotta take dick breaks. And and when y'all don't, y'all stay fucked up. You hop from bed to bed, relationship to relationship, until you end up being 55 years old like Stevie J. And don't nobody else want your punk ass but faith ass eating Evans, okay? And that's just the damn truth. Uh, it's Storm Show. Ay, it's Storm Show. Hey guys, this is your relationship consultant, Heath Wiggins. Uh, I teach faith oriented millennials how to pursue their purpose oriented goals and their relationship goals. Um, so I was sitting at my desk and I was actually preparing for the next uh, Millennial Dating Chronicle video. And um, I got a message at um, on my phone that said, hey, we're waiting for you to respond to this. So I opened it up and it was some foolishness about J.R. Smith, who I know is a basketball player. Uh, his wife was like straight in a car, uh, uh, lamenting, gnashing of teeth, uh, weeping and wailing uh, in prayer for her husband. I was like, what is this about? And so come to find out, he had apparently cheated on her with some other female, and she was praying for him and her. And I was like, whoa, that's some, my first gut reaction was like, that's some deep spiritual maturity right there. But you put it on social media, so I don't know how spiritually mature that is. Um, but I was like, I'm not mad at her for doing that because um, as a relationship consultant that's been doing this for almost 20 years, I've been in the room when there has been uh, unfaithfulness disclosed and a wife or husband has come to me about their, their um, mate cheating on them. And so I, I kind of know that the torment and trauma that you go through. And I also know that logic does not apply. The 30,000 feet perspective that you get while you're sitting looking at someone else's trauma, go, going through trauma. That does not apply to you while you're in it. And so I was like, I understand why she's doing it. And plus, I think as a Christian, I think we need to support her as she is modeling exactly what Jesus Christ said in red letters in Matthew chapter five that we should be doing. And I'll read it for you in Matthew, Matthew chapter five, verse 43 through 45. You have heard it said, you shall love your neighbors and hate your enemies. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven. She's praying for the, her enemy, that girl who cheated on her husband and her and, and the one who persecuted her, her husband, I, I, I would, I would uh, hazard to say. So she's doing exactly what she in this situation should do um and we can't we can't legislate her trauma and how she chooses to deal with it and so i applaud her and i think we as christians should stand with her um now i'm not saying that she was wrong or she or he was wrong or i don't know i don't know anything about the situation but if you see somebody that is lamenting and going through a tough time and they're trying to stand in their faith and stand on what it is they believe they should do and they do it in a public way Look, we should be supporting her. And I definitely do support her, what she's doing. Um, do I think this is the way to do it? Absolutely not. No, this is not the way to go on. This is not the way to try to address the issue that you're going through. But because you did it that way, I respect it. I respect it and I support it because that's your journey. That's your way of dealing with this stress, this trauma. Some people go inwardly and some people go outwardly. And we can't say, oh, you're wrong for going outward or you're wrong for going inward. No, she's doing it her way. Now, with respect to Mr. What, Mr. Smith, Mr. J.R. Smith, what his response was, he was basically like, um, I don't know why God told her not to tell y'all that we've been separated for a month now. So, you know, handle that. Uh, I'm out. So. Okay, that was your clap back. I get it. I mean, you're not going you're not going to let your wife just make you look like, you know, you the cheater and you just out here in these streets living all reckless. 
and you not respond. And so that was your response. Again, I don't know who's right, who's wrong. I don't know if y'all were separated. I don't know if the, you know, if you separate, you're still married. Um, I don't know. I don't know any of the, any of the, any of the facts, but what I'll say is this, um, when you, when you want to try to make your relationship work, some kind of humility, um, you need to have that when you're actually trying to make that thing work. Uh, because that's where you can, when, when you're not trying to defend yourself, that's when you can actually work toward a resolution toward things. But when you're in defense mode and you're trying to protect your, your reputation, then, you know, all bets are off. You throwing, you know, slander, you saying whatever you want. So in that, in that space, I understand why he did it. I'm not even mad at him for doing it. Um, but what I know, having gone through this with several people, several couples, is that this is the space where that stuff happens. But, but then there's a calming, a settling down of issues and, and the hurt sets in and the, and the pain sets in. And, and that's when you really want to look for, um, you know, some, some comfort and, and, and some healing. And, and so this is what I would say to, uh, Miss Smith, Mrs. Smith, that I would pray for you like Paul prayed. Um, and he said, I, even though the devil is trying to sift you like wheat, I think it was in Luke chapter 22, trying to, I'm not quoting it verbatim, but he's trying to sift you like wheat. I pray that your faith not fail. And after you have been strengthened, that you would go and strengthen your brother, or in this case, your sister, because I can clearly see how God can use this very situation. The fact that she got cheated on and came out publicly and prayed for him. And now all the stuff that she's going to have to go through because of that, I can clearly see how God can use your trauma for your testimony. We hear that a lot in church and we all praise and, and, and praise the Lord and, and hoop and shout off of that. But this is it in real time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it in real time. Her trauma right now ain't no testimony. It's her test and her trauma. And so I could see how God could use this later on for you to go and strengthen other women who are struggling through the same thing or have gone through the same thing. And I can see this as an example for how someone can, I'm not going to do it out on, on social media, but how someone, a woman can pray for her husband and pray for the person that cheated on, um, cheated on you with her husband. Um, uh, how, how she can do, how she can undo that, how somebody could, go out and do that. That's a bold step. That takes some spiritual maturity. That takes a big, broad size cup. I mean, you have to have some big, big girl panties and, and, and all that on in order to be able to do that. So I applaud her for doing that. Now, the work is going to come as she tries to walk through this thing. Hope she has a good, strong circle. Hope she has some good friends that she can hold her accountable to what she prayed for. Because that's who your friends really are. And they're going to hold you accountable to what you pray for, not the ones that are going to come and speak against your faith. Ah, you got to speak against, you got to speak with her faith and, and go with her in her faith journey. Not try to sway her to like, oh, if it was me, this is what I would do. So uh, I just took this time to share with uh, you all what my thoughts were because somebody asked me to. All right, y'all, I'm getting back to work. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> All right, Reason on the Morning Show. Uh, Taryn, that's 12 minutes before the top of the hour. Um, so, uh, Miss Shanique, I'm going to let you go on and set this thing up because this is kind of messy right here. So, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So, yesterday, J.R. Smith, his wife had the internet going crazy. People were just feeling her side of the story. She con compelled with the tears as she prayed in the car for her marriage, her husband, and his side chick. Yes. All right? So we really didn't know the details of the story, but we felt the prayer. Gary, when she dispatched those angels to yeah. the side chick, well, you know, J.R. Smith had to comment on his own, and he said, no weapon formed against me. And then he went on to say no that weapon. he had been separated for months. And he guessed that she should have let y'all know that. Oh, wow. so Eva had a problem with it. Well, though. my issue is that just because they've been separated, what makes that okay for him to th then go sleep with other women and in public? Like, see, the question becomes: Are you separated? Are you separated? Separated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, 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 Ricky? Separated, separated. <laughs> Two of them, yeah. right? Two times. And, and I think I know know what Ricky mean by the evil. You just talked about it. When he say separated, separated, they mean are you legally separated? Or are you just separated? 
And that well, depends no, on the no, conversation. What is legally I don't think separated. it matters. Legally separated when you go through the courts, right? Yes. It, okay. So when you're married and then you guys have an infraction and decide to get separated, whatever money you make from day of legal separation is no longer household money. So there are legal reasons why one might go about getting a legal separation. It has a lot to do with finances and assets. But if you're not all the way divorced, that does not give you allowance to sleep with someone else. If you guys had a conversation about it, if you guys say, listen, I'm done. Does that mean you're done, done? Or does it mean you just need some space? And if it's, if it's, if we're See, done, that, that's the critical word right there, Rock T. Yeah. So if space. you're done, because sometimes these divorces, processes, the procedures a can take time. some time. Yeah. yeah. See, there's a difference between separated and space. What's the difference, Ricky? Please well, break it down. Space is like, hey, we're going to give each other some space, gather our thoughts or whatever, and we're going to come back and figure this out. Separated is like we are separated. Now, when I say separated, we're separated. But if I say separated, separated, <laughs> we're separated until we can get a divorce and we're not getting back together. And Ricky, nobody really even knows if J.R. Smith is even banging this lady's back out. I mean, how do we know what goes on? Oh, Maybe they're just her. going on uh, dates. Shanika, huh? I'm a dude. Shanika. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dude. I'm a grown ass man. Okay, be not naive. And I, I would I, rather I, I if I was you. separated. I promise you, he ain't sitting up there going to church. Thank and you. Going to Sunday school Absolutely not. And Communion. Bible study and doing yoga. This together. could be a good godly I woman. I promise you, he got his foot on that neck, trying to shield. But it's he scarier be, when they date, Rick. Not to be tearing that up, you, man. <laughs> Like when they start dating and actually invest in an emotional relationship, <laughs> that's way worse than just sleeping with Maybe somebody else. <laughs> 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 you know, you, what you say, Eve? I'm sorry. I said, when you're in an emotional relationship with someone else, that's actually worse than just sleeping with someone else. Like, if he's actually whining and dining and getting to know and falling for another woman, that's way worse than just having an evening with a girl. If there's an understanding that we're not getting back, we're separated to not get back together, or we're separated to try to figure it out where we could get back together. And that's the critical part. But, Rick, how many people... And like, seriously, though, think about it, your family, yourself, your thoughts. Have you ever thought about getting separated? If you're over the relationship, then you file for divorce. Now, it might take time for the divorce to be finalized, but you file for it. You don't get separated. You can't afford divorce. You know, it's expensive to get an attorney. It's well, expensive to get separated. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't, uh, don't separate me and be cheating all over the damn town, neither. That man ain't, ain't, ain't want her no more. He ain't want her no more. It's over. Like, well, he's saying he don't want her no more. Yeah, he's he saying he's over it. Like, like, well, uh, he divorce said he's been separated. Yeah. Exactly. Just divorce then. Yeah, he can afford to get a divorce. Now, yes, he don't he have can. to do that, but the average person, man, have to go through some stuff to get a real divorce because it costs money. You got to split up stuff. And at the same time, you're a human being. You need love and affection, and you want to want to be loved. But really. this separation is literally an excuse to cheat. Because exactly. he's not, it's an excuse, he which is why he said no. it like, hey, we're separated. Like, yep. it's okay. Eva, he could have been waiting until the Christmas season is over. And and when January comes, he might file for divorce. He, he probably would just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the Christmas season. He's still out there. But I'm saying, exactly. don't nobody want to go through a Do divorce they have during kids? Christmas nobody season. Go yes, they, they, have kids. they have kids. They got two two daughters. Together. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. So, but mm-hmm. and they just had a the preemie daughter off. that was like, born probably about last year. That should be almost one. Yeah, man. All they could daddy. do like the the Wades do now. When when hell when Dwayne Wade left Gabrielle Union, he said we took a break. So I guess there's a difference between a oh. break, a separation, and. a You need to dial star star car on your cell phone and you can stop paying for car repairs. Restrictions may apply. Plans and calls for coverage may vary. Call protect my car. The details. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Jewel Harris. We all know Jewel. She's the beautiful wife of NBA star J.R. Smith. Yeah. Well, baby, Miss Jewel, honey, decided to go on out and let the world know, honey, that her husband is allegedly y'all cheating, honey, with the flash actress, Miss Candace Patton. Oh. Now, Jewel, yes, honey, oh, uh, it is just so touching, even. Jewel solicited her angels, y'all, to pray, honey. 
for um, JR and to pray for Candace, honey, because, you know, it just hurt us so bad that her husband has been allegedly cheating with this woman. And they say it's been going on, y'all, now for quite a while. They're what? saying back since back in October. But here's how it went down, honey. Here's how the prayer and all this stuff went. Here you go. Father God, as your servant, please help and heal my husband, Lord Father God, and please forgive him for he knew not what he do. Father God, whatever hurt and pain that he has experienced in his past, Lord Father God, please let him know that that does not define his future. We are all hurting. Everybody is hurting. Not just me, but my husband. He's hurting. And Candace, Lord Father God, she's hurting. I pray, Lord Father God, for Candace that you please just mend her heart, Lord Father God, for her to go out here, Lord Father God, and seek a married man. I lift her up, Lord Father God, wherever she is broken, to heal her broken heart, Lord Father God, and let her know at the end of the day, it is you that can fill all voids, Lord Father God. You are the only one that can fill any and all voids in our lives, Lord Father God. Yes, yes. Lord. Hey, these and many other bless me asking your name, Jesus sake. Amen. She <laughs> prayed for the mistress. And the good thing about it, because they say when you ain't pray. Hey, side chick ain't never got prayed. Okay, okay. Okay, have a side chick ever got prayed for? Is that the first side chick in I, history to get prayed I, I for? I think that's the first side chick prayer ever. And I think side <laughs> chicks everywhere should stand up and, and, and put their hand on their heart and just, just pray for their side relationship that it that it, it remains holy and, and, and secretive and that they get everything that they wanted out of it and just, you know, that they can all coexist peacefully. Yeah. And, and the thing about it is they say when you pray, honey, to call names. And Jewel called the side chick's name. Lord have mercy. She called her name. Which and then she's sending out angels. She said she's dispatching her boy, angels, them dog, gonna, them dog gonna, angels going that girl <laughs> gonna, that girl going to come out of that boy house and them angels going to be like, whoop! When them angels get on. Oh, yes, I see that fool over here crying. Eva. Eva, yeah. when them Eva, when them angels. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Yes, honey. Baby. Them angels, boy, them angels gonna get on them. Yes, Lord, them angels gonna attack on <laughs> the fool over here crying. Yes, what Lord. What you crying for? Eva, what's wrong? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Eva, honey. Would you like to share? Why you all right? You? Why the angel had to get it like <laughs> Hopefully all honey parties honey, involved, y'all, honey. Get the counseling and all the help and the angels um, surrounding them that they need, honey. Yes, Lord. Yes. All, all, right. all them angels that that then got cheated on when they when when those angels okay Ooh. when the angels that been cheated on before when they get on you that's Ooh. that's a whole another boy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm remove myself from this. Uh, oh, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry, Kate. Confession, oh. confession is good for the soul, honey. Shots fired. <laughs> Somebody felt them angels, Lord. Yes, honey. <laughs> Shopping oh. the bones. Oh. <laughs> Glory. Yes, Lord. Y'all yes. give us a color. Yes. Is it time for the color? Is it time for the color already? Oh, go ahead. Yes. Go on. Go on. Oh, yeah. Jay-Z, yeah, they said he wore a $2 million watch, honey, to um, did his um, party the other day. And I thought that was very tacky. I mean, uh. $2 million timepiece to a party, and they got the children outside starving and Crying for food, and oh, he's telling time from that. two million. Don't do that, Gary, because you walk up in here. Don't make me start telling your story and what you walk up in here with, Ooh. Mr. Cartier and Mr. Child. Mr. Whatever. Talking Child. about a consignment shop. Ain't no consignment shop. Got no Cartier. Girl, yes they do. Because I checked all yeah. of them all across the board. Ain't nobody got no Cartier. Nothing. Child. 
They you said, went to the Cartier store, darling. So don't talk about Jay Z with no two hundred million dollar uh, watch, whatever. He he work hard. Where well, hard. Nice. Get him, Brett. He work hard wrist. and he deserves to get. He's a billionaire. It's like you pull up wrist. in a different car every week. Don't do that. Ain't on my wrist. I like your car. You pull up in a different car, Gary. Gary, Gary I see you them on Housewives in some type of drop top. Some I said, okay, Gary. Gary, you was on like, Housewives in a drop top. Gary, uh, where you get some money from? Let me tell you something. You know, Gary still got some of that money when his daddy died. That is true. He left us a nice um a nice what you call it? Stipend? Uh, I nice, don't know. No, not no stipend. Inheritance. He inheritance. Left us an inheritance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He left us a nice inheritance. And all what I didn't get from the inheritance, I had to lay on my stomach. Yeah. But anyway, it was all good. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought Damn. it was your side. Uh-uh. All right, you saw that Ricky, Ricky Smiley show, one show, broke it down. They're saying, you know, hey, some, some, some of the people on the show, on his panel, were naive. So I'm just saying and keeping it real, like, hey, this is what's going on. You know, J.R. Smith ain't just there for no um no dogs and no cats and all this stuff. He here just to um get with the girl and make it make it banger and keep it going. You know how they go. Rick smiling and pointing out, like, that's what dudes do sometimes. They don't want they wanna be the hunter, you know, they unsatisfied with something in the marriage. Well, <laughs> You know, hey, we can't know, we can't tell, but hey, who is us to judge? What can J.R. Smith repair his marriage to Angel? And will Angel stop crying and shut up about it? Either you're going to stay with the man or you're going to divorce the man. So, or is this marriage it's a wrap? We just have to find out and we'll have to see like everybody else. I've been your host, Kendra Dick, saying so long, and we'll see you next time here on Vibes. See you later.